The Atlanta Dream just traded for Jordan Canada, and I would argue that this is the most underrated trade in WNBA history. Now, I'm going to tell you why this fit is so amazing for the Atlanta Dream and why hopefully with some, let's just say, meshing of the team, this team has the ability to go to the WNBA championship. Now, Jordan Canada... A guard that recently came that recently played for the LA Sparks is averaging about 13.2 points per game last season, six assists, and a league high 2.6 steals per game. Now, what does this mean and why can the Atlanta Dream benefit from this? Now, with the current roster, you got your your, your staples. You got Ryan Howard, you got Alicia Gray. And you got Cheyenne Parker. But what this move does, it allows Alicia Gray to play off ball. If you watched her in the playoffs, if you watched her throughout the season last year, she was a ball-dominant point guard, so to speak, that had a lot of responsibility carrying the ball, initiating the offense, playmaking. And what this move does is allows her to just not only be a playmaker, but it allows her to get her shot up. She can score at a clip, at a high clip. And when you take some of that responsibility away from her with, with carrying the ball, with, with initiating the office offense, this not only helps her with the way she sees the game, but it helps with her scoring. Now, another reason why this move is so underrated is the defensive paralysis that Jordan Canada plays. The amount of steals that she averages on a game, which is league high, would not only help the Atlanta Dream, but it will propel them to another level. Like I said, I keep talking about the help, that will, the stress that will alleviate for Alicia Gray. But this move will allow Alicia Gray to move over and guard some of the, I wouldn't say slower twos, but not allow her, not ha allow her to have to guard point guards. Move over. Put Jordan Canada on that main guard. She's going to get steals. She's going to play defense. And this overall helps the Atlanta Dream's defensive paralysis bar none 10 times out of 10. Now, this also frees up space for Ryan Howard. She not only has to play defense, lockdown defense, but she can allow Jordan Canada to take point on some of the defensive pressures. She can sag off a little bit. She can guard the twos rather. She can guard the threes rather than the twos. And she can play flow type defense led by Jordan Canada. And also, and from an offense perspective, Ryan Howard can just focus strictly on her shot. She doesn't have any ball bringing up abilities. She doesn't have to play make. That's done by Alicia Gray and Jordan Canada. She can just strictly focus on getting that shot up, which she did a, a, a great job of last year, leading the team in scoring. Now, this also helps Cheyenne Parker. Not only do you have another individual who can initiate pop and pick, pick and pop, Pick and, pick and roll, but you got a person who can get her the ball when she needs it down on that lower post. This is a win, win, win. Now, going forward, like I said, this most, in my opinion, this move most helps out Alicia Gray because she will not have to be the primary ball handler. And if I were the Atlanta Dream coach, I would stagger the two. Allow Jordan Canada to be the primary ball handler when the starting lineup. And when Jordan Canada comes out, Alicia Gray can be the primary ball handler. It divvies up the responsibilities of the two while not allowing Alicia Gray to be have to be that person all the time. If you were watching the playoffs last year, you can tell the Atlanta Dream will be amazing. But when some individuals have to come out the game, there will be no one to lead that charge from a point perspective. There wouldn't be a playmaker when Alicia Gray comes off the, the court. There wouldn't be that playmaker in the game. But like I said, if you stagger the two, Jordan and then Alicia, you will always have a playmaker and a score in the great game, which the Atlanta Dream truly need. There were spurts in the playoffs where they would go five. 10 minutes without truly scoring. And that's because Alicia Gray was off the court 
and they did not really have anybody to initiate that offense. So I think not only is this move amazing, this is the move that will propel the Atlanta dream to that championship level. I also think they're missing one more piece in which they can get in that WNBA draft. They need a little bit of that big center depth. And if you're interested in seeing some of the people, some of the individuals that I think they should draft in the WNBA draft, check this video out right here. And like always, peace.